In this tutorial, we are going to practice reflecting an object over the x-axis. The first thing that we are going to do is record the location of our original points. The second thing we are going to do is make sure we keep our original x values for each ordered pair. And the only thing we really have to do is change all of the signs of all of our y values. To demonstrate this, we are going to reflect figure A, B, C, D over the x-axis. The first thing that we are going to do is to identify our points. Point A is located at negative 6, positive 2. B is located at negative 4, positive 4. C is located at positive 2, positive 4. And D is located at 0, positive 2. Whenever you reflect any object over the x-axis, you should just keep all of your x values and simply change the sign of all of your y values. So what we are going to do is take a look at all of the x values that we have recorded from the original points and we are going to rewrite those keeping the value exactly the same. The four x values are negative 6, negative 4, positive 2, and 0. So we are simply going to rewrite all of those values exactly as they are. And for the y values, we are simply going to change the sign. Notice that all of our y values are positive, so we are going to write the same number but change all of those positives to negatives. After you have recorded all of your new points, simply plot them on the coordinate plane. A is now located at negative 6, negative 2. B is at negative 4, negative 4. C is at positive 2, negative 4. And D is at 0, negative 2. One thing that you should notice about your reflected image is that if you were to take the coordinate plane and fold it over the x-axis, the reflected object should match up exactly with your original object. So remember, when reflecting across the x-axis, simply keep all of your x-values exactly the same and make all of your y-values the opposite of what they are. 